If you've ever wondered what video editor I use, it's Camtasia. It's just been upgraded to version 9 and I want to journal my experience. So this is 10 things I like and dislike after using it for 24 hours. For some reason it adds the audio point where you right click your mouse cursor. I would prefer this to be the playhead because it's much more accurate and this seems a little random and clunky. I like the fact that you can minimise the modify options on the left column to icons to give you more space in your video editor. The media bin is far too small, I can only fit 10 thumbnails on it and I can't resize it to fit more on so I have to use the scroll bar quite a lot. Imagine a video where you have maybe 50 bits of media on it and switching to list view just isn't practical for when you need to see the thumbnails. We need something like Windows Explorer where we can make the icons a little bit smaller. Adding this script box is a genius idea as before I would have to shrink Camtasia down to half its size and write a script in another program and that made it very difficult to watch the timeline on my videos while I narrated it. Why can I sometimes see a audio percentage level when I change it like this whereas on the right track I don't get any percentage so I can't tell if the audio tracks are in level. It would be nice if you had a snap feature so you could snap audio levels together when you're adjusting them in this individual fashion. I like the improvements that have been made to the clip speed, simply right click on it, add clip speed and then you can click on the stopwatch at the end of a track to extend it or minimise it. There doesn't seem to be any limits anymore either. Previously you could only set the speed to 400% or 50% but now you can just go up and down as much as you like. That is lovely stuff. The fade in and out options work fine when you drag them to the beginning or the end of a track and it will automatically fade in or out for you. Unfortunately, if you then want to change the length of that track, you kind of lose your fade in or out because it just disappears along with the track. It would be nice if the fade in and fade out function were attached to the track like transitions, so if you shorten or length on it, it sticks to the track. One of Camtasia's biggest strengths has always been its ease of use and intuitive design and nothing has changed in this latest version. Everything feels familiar if you've already used Camtasia. Yes, the video playback has moved to the centre but the properties have been put into the right side of the screen which gives you a little more room to play with and everything from the animations to adding media to changing audio is pretty similar if you use the programme before and if you've never used a programme before Camtasia is very easy to learn as a video editor. If you were to put Windows Movie Maker as a beginner's video editor and Adobe Premiere Pro as an expert professional grade video editor then Camtasia definitely falls somewhere in between. It has lots of functionality, not quite the richness to create superb video quality but in terms of functionality there is a lot going for it. Okay video editing finished, let's go and produce the video. Local file, I'll do a custom setting because I want to change the frame rate up to 60 frames a second because it is 2016 and I should be able to do that. What? So far I have been very impressed with the stability of Camtasia 9. It hasn't crashed on me once and I've had it for 24 hours. Usually with previous versions you could expect it to crash maybe 3 or 4 times a day. It would fall over gracefully and you wouldn't lose any work but you'd have to almost restart your own mind to get back into things and if you had lots of things copied and ready to be pasted it would be annoying to have to go through the whole process again. But so far Camtasia 9 has been perfect but I haven't thrown too much at it yet. Also, render times do seem a little slower than before, but they're still acceptable. And that's my first 24 hours of what will be many thousands of hours using Camtasia 9. I very much hope the developers watch this video, as I would love to engage them in improving a product that has transformed my video making. And if you're a Camtasia 9 user, I'd love to hear your thoughts too. Now Camtasia 9 is not free, but you can sign up for a free 30 day trial, although that will put a huge walk to mark on your videos. Links in the description, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.